Yo, what's going on everyone? It is your boy Tech or Ratchet coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Advanced Warfare Havoc DLC pack coming on January the 27th, giving you guys a rundown about what to expect, the four new multiplayer maps as well as the new DLC weapon as well as the mode we have been all waiting for, the EXO Zombies mode, the dedicated Zombies mode in Advanced Warfare. So there are four multiplayer maps, Urban, which is a fast map, close quarters, SMGs and shotguns are preferred on this map. You, uh, and there is a lockdown mode, which is a dynamic map event. Pa parts get blocked and new parts get opened, so you guys can take advantage of that. Uh, core is based in the Gobi Desert in a blown up nuclear fusion facility. It has three distinct lanes, which you guys can take advantage of. The center is chaotic, close quarters, and the map based kill streak is a decontamination drone which goes and attacks the nearest enemies, sort of like an A86 Overwatch, except it's like a drone, maybe similar to the assault drone. And then we have Drift, which is based in the Rockies, uh, sort of the mountainous areas with the snowy part. And it has pretty good Overwatch uh, positions. There, there's a carousel hold, uh, carousel in the middle to hold middle map control, which rotates 360 degrees, so you guys can take control of that and get middle map control, of course. Uh, and the dynamic map event is the avalanche where whole streets get blocked uh, so the pa some parts of the map gets blocked off due to the avalanche uh, then we have sideshow which is a crazy over the top map based upon people's nightmares so it's good for long range players it has pretty good overwatch positions and the dynamic map event is a clown in the middle of the map which sends out large bombs so you guys need to scramble to get them and throw them on the nearest enemies. So they're basically like, you know, uh, you know the uplink balls except they're bombs and they kill people when you throw them at, at enemies. And uh, guys, on the top right, you guys can see the trailer going on in the background. So you guys can have a look at that. I'm unfortunately not able to show the whole trailer full screen and do a breakdown of that. Uh, as because of copyright, of course. Um, because uh, Activision does not like me using their content. So of course we have the AE4 DLC weapon. Uh, it's a directed energy assault rifle which we have all had access to uh, if you had if you have the season pass. So we all know what that is about. I have gameplay on my channel, so if you guys want to check that out, it'll be linked in the description below. Um, so yeah, it's a directed energy assault rifle. You never have to reload. And it's a pretty average gun in my opinion, of course not the best, but pretty fun to use nevertheless. So we have the new Exo Zombies mode we've been all waiting for. So it's basically like a new take on zombies. Zombies with Exo abilities so they can boost, jump, dodge, making them extra fast. But you also have those abilities so you guys can you know beat them out and boost, jump away in case they overwhelm you. And there are four characters in this game mode, the maintenance man who's called Oz, played by John Malkovic, uh, the IT specialist, the security guard and the executive played by the brilliant Bill Paxton. So another new weapon in the Exo Zombies game mode is a triple barrel energy shotgun. So that is basically directed energy shotgun which has three barrels and you guys can see it rotate when you fire each shot off. Uh, sort of like the execution of pistol so that is it guys for the rundown of the havoc dlc pack hopefully you guys are excited i am excited this is probably one of the most robust dlc packs i've ever seen in call of duty you technically have two new weapons a whole new game mode as well as four awesome multiplayer maps they look pretty fast paced enjoyable and i can't wait to get my hands on the dlc on january the 27th Gonna be getting you guys gameplay of the launch of the DLC. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys know what to expect from the next DLC pack. In my opinion, it's a pretty good DLC pack. Has four new maps as well as two weapons. Now I'm not advertising their DLC packs, but I really am looking forward to this DLC pack because it looks pretty damn good with two weapons and a new mode of zombies we've been all waiting for. I think that's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. By the way guys, in the background you have some MP11 gameplay. Uh, I went pretty beast mode with the red outside. I picked up off the ground in fact. 
uh, I was talking about with the bad earlier so I will see you guys in my next video and I'm signing out peace